After we survived Hurricane Katrina, we thought that we could survive anything. And we were wrong. Hi, Cornelius. Hey, hey. Thank you so much for your time. A pleasure to talk to you and to talk about Five Day at Memorial. So I want to ask you, where were you when Hurricane Katrina hit New Orleans? I was in grad school. I was in New York uh, when the hurricane hit. And um, I can just remember just, you know, responding most like the rest of the world did when we saw the images on television. Yeah, yeah. And and, yeah. and when did when you first read the script, well, God, I know that is a very controversial story and you have is based on a book, but what got your attention on the script? Yeah, well, I didn't. Um, I did not have a chance to read the script before I um, auditioned for the role. So I, I believe I just got the scenes and auditioned and then later read the script. Um, and, you know, even in the scenes, there was just so much that drew me to the character because you can automatically kind of tell just the, the layers of circumstances and conflicts just off of two scenes. And so that's what really got my attention, that if I'm getting so much from these two scenes, then what is the script or the episode going to look like? Um, and, you know, I wasn't I wasn't disappointed because when I read everything, I was just like, my gosh, it's it's written beautifully um, and organized well. And I think that it was just something that had a very kind of even on the page i mean we're watching it now but i think you still had a visceral i had a visceral response even reading the things on the page yes yeah your performance is amazing and the face is your face your eyes tells us a lot of things mm. and it's it's amazing i really i really like i was like drawing to your performance and oh well, thank you like, Yes. What was like the preparation for for that? Like you were able like to talk to 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 doctors, to nurses about it, or was was everything on the script? <laughs> yeah, I didn't talk to I didn't talk to anybody in in preparation for it. Um, you know, I obviously read the book and did my own research based on what I could find on the internet. And so, you know, from there, it was just me getting together with my. Um, acting coach and trying to just figure out um, the best beats and figure out my moments and and really kind of help to craft this this uh, portrayal of of this character and so um, you know that's the extent in terms of like kind of how I prepared for it and how I got ready for it and you know as with every role it's a it's a collaboration between myself and the character so just at best trying to get myself out of the way and and fully putting myself putting myself fully putting myself into the shoes of of the character I'm portraying and then the rest is just in the moment they found 45 dead bodies there mm -hmm. now does that make any sense to you i'm under a great deal of pressure to look into what happened there were five days, the most ungodly conditions. We are getting all of these patients out of here. We are nurses, and we're going to get it done. Yeah, and preparing to play Dr. Brian King, what was like your biggest challenge? Like, did you have any challenge, like just emotionally or physically? No, I can't say that I had any challenges. Um, you know, it was just, I mean, it's an intense experience. You know, it was, it's just the, the stakes are raised. And for me, um, you know, as an actor, that's really what you want. That's the, that's, that's, that's where the juice is, if you will. Where's the conflict? Where's the inner conflict? Um, I think that's, you know, that's that's what every actor wants to play and can kind of have fun with and really throw themselves in of, of just negotiating and, and telling and telling that story through that particular lens. Amazing. Cornel, this is the time that I have with you. I just want to thank you so much for your time. A lot of success and amazing performance. Thank you so much. 
Bye. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. As long as we don't get left behind. We have to be realistic about the situation. There is nothing else to do for them except to make them comfortable. So what are we talking about? They asked me to look into the, the deaths at Memorial Medical Center. The Attorney General's office is focusing their investigation on you. They're suggesting that some of their patients' lives may have been ended. I am sure that patients do not suffer pain. Some people were afraid of people outside of the hospital. But for me, it was the other way around. If you would give me choice between comforting a patient, possibly quickening his death, or abandoning patients to suffer a slow death, what would you choose to do? Let me say goodbye, please! Oh, say that! All I did was try to help people. That is all I did. If you like this video, don't forget to comment, to like, and subscribe to our channel right here.